let's take a look at some of the great functionality coming as part of our April release. As we know, we previously introduced the concept of a hub within Dynamics 365 for talent, meaning when I first log into the solution, it points me to really important things I want to start my day by focusing on. That might be upcoming interviews I want to prepare for, or maybe new applications that I should review. As part of the April release, we're extending this even further by introducing analytics and KPIs to make it really easy to identify the most important areas to focus on during this hiring journey. Within Dynamics 365 for Talent, in previous releases, we made it really easy to post out firstly to our career website and also post jobs to LinkedIn. Now, great news, we've integrated with Broadbean. Broadbean is a job board aggregator, which makes it really easy for our customers to post jobs out to hundreds of job websites simultaneously. The great thing about this is it makes it easier to reach a wider scope of candidates, candidates you might not have been able to reach previously if only focusing on a smaller number of job websites. As a result, we find greater candidates, we can increase the quantity of candidate applications that we receive, and it makes it really easy for us to then build out our own talent pools. This means I can come in and I can maintain multiple talent pools if I want to, for great quality candidates, I might have received from multiple different job boards, meaning in future, when we have a vacancy, it's really easy to come straight into Dynamics 365 for Talent, identify top quality candidates that we've identified previously, and introduce them to new job vacancies within our organization. We've seen in the previous video, great integration between LinkedIn Recruiter and Dynamics 365 for Talent. To learn more about that, go back to video one, to understand more about our integration. We then work our way through the hiring process, interviewing candidates, asking them to complete assessments. We ultimately get to the stage where we want to make an offer. This is an area where we find customers really struggle because the time between finding great quality candidates and then actually making them a formal offer can take weeks by pulling multiple processes into one stage. We've really simplified this entire process making it much easier for our customers to generate and share an offer with a candidate much faster than they could previously. Firstly, we've introduced the idea of offer packages. It's really simple for me to come into a candidate offer, choose a package, and then create it. What's now going to happen is it's going to pull information from lots of different areas of Dynamics 365 for Talent into one offer package. What we can see here is it's pulled in all of the key fields that I need for my offer specific to my candidate, completely removing the need for me to go away and manually enter that information. What that then does is it pulls these various fields into one or more templates that I've already identified. We can see here an offer letter for Cameron as customer success manager in our organization. It's pulled in our standard text and there's just a few simple areas that I want to go away and complete before I share it with Cameron. If I come back to my offer data tab, I can type this information in and it will populate it across all documents at the same time. Again, really reducing the amount of time it takes to pull together multiple offer documents for my candidate to sign. What we've also introduced into offer management is logic, which makes it really easy to ensure we're following key parameters as defined by HR. In this case, by choosing a specific country, and choosing a level, it's going to prompt me for the typical salary bands we want to work in for our candidates. I can see that that's been successful and I know that information is compliant with the requirements for this specific role. If I was choose to go outside of those boundaries, it could automatically trigger an approval process with various members of our approval team. To add approvers in manually as well, it's really easy to come in and pull those in. And when we're choosing an approval process, we can either choose to have parallel approvals where anybody can approve in, each, in a particular order as long as everybody has approved it before it's sent, or we can have tiered approvals, which means that it has to follow a specific process before it's sent off to the candidate. Those approvers are invited to come and view the offer, add any comments, and when we're happy with it, we can then send it off to the candidate. And there's a few great ways to do that. Firstly, we have integration with Adobe Sign. 
and also with DocuSign as well, which means our candidates can go in, accept the offers using the tools our customers are already using for offer management today. And the third option is our inbuilt e-signature tool, which means if we're not utilizing those third-party tools, our candidates can still accept the offer electronically. Using these tools, we've made it much easier for our customers to bring together an offer package, send it out to the candidate in a much more timely manner, and ultimately make it really easy for the candidate to accept that offer during the offer process. This entire process really significantly cuts down the time to hire great quality candidates within your organization. Once a candidate's accepted an offer, we want to go ahead and share with them a great onboarding guide. Now, one of the challenges with onboarding is that we want this to be a significant process. We're not just focusing on the first two weeks in role for a candidate, we really want to set them up for success in the first 30, 60, 90 days, and maybe longer for technical roles. What we've introduced into Dynamics 365 for Talent is a template gallery where we, as Microsoft, have gone ahead and created some best practice templates that can be utilized by our customers. This means as our customers start to use the tool, we've given them a really strong starting point. They can understand what best practice processes look like, and it's really easy to access those templates save them and use them for their own processes within the organization. As we continue to build this out, we're going to make it even easier for new hires to be involved in this onboarding process, prompting them to complete specific tasks and processes to really set them up for success, making it easier for them to identify they were being successful and also set, them up, set themselves up for success and promotions within the organization. We're going to continue to build out these template galleries and make it really easy for you to also contribute your own guides to the templates so that other customers can start to utilize this great functionality themselves. Once we've chosen a template, it's really easy to go through and personalize. I can come in, add specific activities that are relevant to our organization on top of any templates that have been shared within the template gallery and also introduce key contacts as well. Ultimately, we're really focusing on a great cultural onboarding experience for our candidate and setting them up for success, not just in the first few weeks, but in the first 30, 60, 90 days and onwards. So we've seen today some great new functionality that's coming as part of our April release, and we're really excited for you to utilize it in the coming weeks. Thank you. <laughs>